All right. Also, while I was sick, man, NBA All Star Weekend happened. Shout out to NBA All Star Weekend. It was in Indianapolis. Yeah, it was me. Um, shout out McClung. That white boy got a dunk package. They did it at Lucas Oil <laughs> Stadium, and they did it with a Pacers play. Uh, real quick breeze through some notes I took. I fuck with the court. I don't know yeah, if that shit was cool. The court. the court was cool. That was cool. Um, Friday night they had the celeb game. I fuck with the celeb game. Um, no, I I fuck with the celeb game energy. It was competitive, and I like the court. I like the ruffles. It was like watching NBA Jam or yeah. some shit with no. I say put players. more football players in that shit because them niggas was going hard. They was going all hard. The football was, players was going hard. I was hoping CJ Stroud didn't get injured. That's all because because my man was running through niggas. I can't. Think oh, of Michael it. Parsons. Yeah, Michael yeah. Parsons. <laughs> through niggas. Parsons wasn't playing with nobody. Um, back to what James said, man. I did watch the Rising All Star Rising Stars game and. Matt McClung showed his ass. Yeah, in that I game. I understand the Rising Stars game. So is it four different games, like a tournament? It was a no, tournament. So, uh, oh yeah. So this year they did rookie on rookie. Because most of the people that was in the Rising, like they did two games. I thought it was four ga- four teams. No, yeah, it was four teams. It was four teams, but it was rookies versus rookies and sophomores versus sophomores. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, then they had a championship of rookies versus sophomores. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I mean, it was cool though. I I, I kind of like the switches they're trying to make because, like, the standard All Star game, from what it was, it it was kind of getting a little ugh. But I I can at least appreciate the changes that they're trying to make. I can appreciate that. I mean, they could. Uh, like I said, McClung <laughs> McClung was the highlight of that to oh, me. Oh yeah. McClung and his squad, the yeah. D League niggas, was trying the ball. So they McClung oh, yeah. showed his ass. That, For sure. That shit was good. I think he was on Team Shrimp, Delta Shrimp. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't Those, know who won that shit because I turned that shit off. I'm look, man. I, was, <laughs> I watched the first it, three minutes. I've said it a couple times, man. These G League dudes are hungry, bro. They not getting paid like that. So when they come into the stage where they're going to show out, they're going to show out. I mean, I'm still yeah. not watching a G League game. Yeah, I'm not I either. feel you. I feel <laughs> you. And I, you that's exactly why they are winning shit, because they are so underrated. They got the dog mentality. So when he coming out, he like, look, bro, I'm about to pull out some backwards dunks ain't nobody ever seen before. McClung got them backwards dunks down packed, bro. All the right, reverse. so then we have All-Star <laughs> Saturday night. He do. Um, All Star Saturday night was pretty dope, but my highlight from that was the three point contest. I thought it was better than the dunk contest. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And yeah. I like yeah. the I like the Curry versus uh, Sabrina Inescu. Yeah, I, mean, I, yeah. I like that. I yeah. wanted to, I wanted to see more of that. Would you watch them take on? Because she think, she had twenty six. That was the average yeah. of the, the regular. We knew she wouldn't beat Steph, but I don't. Know, I think if I was, I would probably move that over to the WNBA All Star Weekend. To get more eyes on it. Somebody else said that, but um, I think the thing was, like, we trying to bring more eyes. I think the thing is, having it during this weekend would Where still put eyes. eyes are already there. Yeah, eyes are already there, so it brings eyes to the WNBA yeah. more if you put it in this weekend. I did, Makes sense. I did think it was better in this so weekend. So maybe just throw the females in there. Yeah, just throw them but, in there, uh, let them compete. Because you Reggie throw Reggie Miller or Kenny Smith had a good point where the guys was in season and the girls is cold. Like, they ain't been... Yeah, they haven't been playing. Yeah, but they're not going to mix seasons. Also, I don't I don't appreciate, like, I, that's cool that they throw them in there because they'll throw them in the celeb game. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I don't think. I was, I was saying that, too. Like, they be throwing them in there. I mean. They'll throw them in the celeb game, which I don't think is fair to them. Yeah, so, like, throw them in a yeah, real competition. The competition yeah. Right there. Yeah. They used to be in a skills <laughs> challenge. Yeah, they did. Now, I, I can't appreciate them being in the skills challenge. I like them in the three-point contest. I like them in a three point contest. The dunk tech, the got the dunk contest to me was blah. No, Matt. I mean, yeah, but Matt McClung. I, I didn't. So I think what was happening was, you was getting dunk points if you had to dunk again, and so I, I like a lot of the original dunks Matt McClung had. I think Jalen Brown had some good ideas. I even think uh, Ob Ob brother, what's his oh, name? Uh, jo- Joseph, Jacob Toppin. Jacob Toppin. Yeah, I think nah, Jacob slept. Toppin. I think I think Jacob Toppin had good ideas. But what you seen was if they missed their first attempt, they was not getting the fifty yeah. for the second yeah. attempt. So on the second attempt, they was just doing dunks. They know they could get off fast. So it went it went by fast, and I could appreciate that. But gotcha. it just. Like I said, outside of Matt McClung, I mean Matt McClung is exciting to see. Yeah, because he's a shorter dunker. 
But I didn't. I did, yeah, I, I didn't like it. And I'm tired. Like the dunk contest got too many props and shit. Now, like they kept bringing people out there to jump. I over. mean, but like, that's stop what jumping you over niggas. Think they about put it, man. That in the chair, bro. Everything has been done, bro. So <laughs> no, your boy, your boy Jalen Brown need to be slapped for that <laughs> right. attempt, bro. That shit was it trash. Did, he did this. Yeah, yeah that, that shit was dunk. trash. After the dunk, the nigga he the whole dunk. I think he got CTE. I think the only dunk that probably was better than McClung's was Jacob Top. And when he did that 360 between the legs, that shit is tough. But did that he was a tough it? dunk. Yes, he did finish it. They didn't give him. It was they a gave second. him a 47 for that <sighs> shit. But and was I was it, pissed. Was it second I mean, attempt? It, was second attempt. it might have been a second attempt. Yeah, they was dinging them niggas. They wasn't going for that yeah. second attempt shit Bruh, this year. Who was that, that Mexican nigga? I ain't never seen. I didn't oh, even know they uh, had a Mexican uh, in uh, uh, Jaime Hernandez or something like that. Yeah, yeah, he close. But I ain't even know bro could dunk like that. Me neither. I even know. Got some I don't even know, bro. Jalen Brown, but Jalen Brown had no business in that final round. Jalen Brown only good dunk was the left hand dunk. Be real with you, and it wasn't even all that. But I appreciate him for going out there. We needed yeah. an all star. Yeah, they the needed fucking, an all star. We needed an all star. Yeah. So shout out to him for going out there and doing that yeah, shit. Yeah, I just don't believe most of these guys just don't have the creative. That probably is it to too. do it. Like the they dunks, don't. Yeah. Like I believe if LeBron was to get into it, LeBron would win off of just popularity alone. That nigga would do a, a Statue of Liberty. And I win can't the imagine dunk LeBron doing anything creative though with a dunk. Exactly. No. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just yeah. you know he gonna do now his Morant. List. I can see Morant getting in there. Yeah. He probably yeah. could do something. Yeah. But man, it's hard to be a good dunker. Like dunk contest dunking, man. That's that's difficult. But they do that shit in the warm up drills. I, that's why I was saying like. Even Stephen A. said it. I think Stephen A. said it best. He said the uh, dunk contest won't be the dunk contest until LeBron James participates. That nigga's 40. Yeah, he might be 40, <laughs> bro. But that nigga, bro, bro, people go to LeBron James's game just to see him dunk. And it kind of remind me of how Zion was when he first came out. That man known for dunking, so they want to see you dunk. And I feel like Zion should be in there. All he gonna do is windmills. Yeah, Zion ain't yeah. got them type of ups. I think Zion. My honest opinion. Zion got a dunk. I don't package. think three hundred pounds can hang in the air that long. <laughs> Nick said he got a dunk pack. He do stop with the two K terms. <laughs> What else I'm saying? He got, he got <laughs> a bag of dunks. Nah, that makes sense. He I got a bag of dunks. I don't. What else you want nah, me to say? Nah, he's right. His dunk pack. I mean, yeah, I his dunk pack is a on. fool, bro. Because LeBron dunk pack lame as hell. It's like two or three. He it, it just For looked the when he in the air. It's just like he got that that Janae quad when he's through the air. And I'm gonna let you know now. This. Zion ain't jumping over nobody. Yeah, oh well. And they bold. They let him try. But see, man, you gotta think about Zion. Zion was doing dunk contest level shit in high school How and they just weigh? let that man he didn't nah he, he was, was doing that he was doing that same 360 in that the was, game that that's dunk level contest type that's, shit they gonna give him a 40 in the in the dunk contest yeah. for that. but who can't do that shit in the game i've seen that shit in the game live i'm just saying zion was from a, a nigga i don't even know who he was dunker, he just, bro he should shout out to back mcclaw because this is the biggest paycheck he get every year. I was just gonna say that too. They if, should sign that man. That nigga bro, probably got all, eight kids. No, no, he, they shouldn't. All he should do is just keep winning the dunk contest because he makes way more he than the he first made nigga in to make the year. Hall of Fame for the dunk contest. Yes. How he, much he make? He make three hundred thousand every time he win the dunk contest. He made it last year and he won it this year. Oh, well, I think the pot went up this year. Good for him. Yeah. I think the pot probably. I think he probably well, made. If that's the case, put more G League niggas in there. Fuck the, the pros. They more creative. They hungry. Yeah, and they get, get money. Saying. That's a good way for them to make yeah. money. So was, I don't believe any pro would be good at this. Besides so, Zach Levine. Sorry. No. Nah. Uh, and, and then Eric Gordon. the All Star Game was the this was the like the end of the weekend, but this was like the highest level of I don't give a fuck and I'm ready to go home I ever <laughs> seen in my life from some basketball players. These niggas were shooting full court shots. Oh yeah, they shot half court shots. They play entirely no defense. These niggas almost scored 400 points. Yeah, that's you know crazy. What's funny? I thought it was funny that Dame had such a good weekend, but you having a sorry ass season. Oh, he is. I ain't even watching. Yo, basketball Dame is shit. having one of the worst seasons, bro. It's it's bad. How do you make the All Star team? Because popularity, people voted for him. Uh-oh. Technically, they were saying Terry Rozier before he left the Hornets was having the same year as Damian Lillard. Wow. How do you, statistically, how do you make the All Star game better at this point? I don't think he can. 
Because, I mean, these guys have already committed to not taking it serious. Well, I mean, I Unless think there's some can. type of incentive for it. That's that's what was. I don't think you can it. incentivize them with money. No yeah, more. nah, definitely not money. I don't think you got enough money to incentivize them because they all making $30 million yeah, yeah. a year. Yeah. Well, Especially at the all-star level. Uh, only thing you could do is maybe put some type of incentive on. I liked it that year that they did. They played by quarter. You had to win the quarter. I feel like they play hard a little bit, those like a little bit harder those years where they had to win the quarter, and then um, but at the fourth quarter, all your points added up, and whoever got Man. to a certain point won. I still say I, there's no harder All Star game than that game with Kobe and fucking Allen Iverson, D Wade. That's when they used to them. take it serious, Bruh, That was the hardest so All Star game ever. And I'm I guess like how do you get back there? Well, they were playing for charity then. I don't even know. I think somebody got to step up and be like, I'm about to go hard. Like, Kobe used to be like, uh, no, I'm playing for real. Yeah, Kobe will go hard. I think somebody got to do that because LeBron used to try to do that, but I think LeBron, like, fuck it, I'm 40, bro. Somebody I don't feel like do LeBron shit. got that voice in the in the huddle. Like, uh, I was trying to find this clip real quick. I, I heard Ke- Kevin Garnett talking about what, what what's, what's going on with the All-Star game. And then think. nobody want to get injured, too. Oh yeah. Yes, I was gonna say that's probably the other thing is because they. Well, it's always been that. Yeah, because I'm not gonna do too much. Some shit happened. Really, you know, one of my games. Like when Paul George got hurt uh, when he was practicing for the Olympics, match Yeah, I like that that. happened in the All Star game. But I just, I just wish sometimes that it could go back to the way of old when the the actual athlete wanted to how you find make the fans happy. You remember, you remember those days, bro, when they were like, "Look, we about to give it our all." We probably well, ninth you know, in the East, but we about also, to come out here scrapping straight. I don't straight. think we the target market either. Like they, uh, my nephew probably loved the All Star Game. Right. All right, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me play this. Older generation, the Jews you get from the old head. Yeah. And then we are seeing is the disconnect from the older generation, the Jews you get from the old head. Yeah. And then coming yeah. in here knowing how to actually be a, not only professional but be an All Star. Know how to actually talk and deal with the all-star director to say, this one I'm doing, and this one I'm not doing. Uh, and then managing your time. Because if not, right. the league will use you the whole day. Right. Hold on, hold on. I got to get some rest. I got to get some shots up. And then, too, I got something I'm doing with my family. You got to right. honor that. Guess who teaches you how to do that, y'all? The old head. The old head. Right. Jordan, Pat Ewing, fucking Shaq. Oh, uh, fucking all the old heads who's sitting in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? These niggas are sitting in there. We're just sitting here talking. It's cars. It's music. But then the old head knowledge is going around. Tim right. Hardaway telling you some real shit. Sh- Sean Kemp telling you some real shit. And this is right. what happens. So by the time you get to year two, man, guess what? Kobe, man, rest in peace to my dog, man. He was nervous as fuck when we got to New York. He didn't make it his first year. His second year, we was in New York, which was my first time starting. He got chose by the uh, fans, and he was nervous as fuck. I was talking like, man, we finna watch these old ass niggas. Man, it was, right. I was just on some young boy shit, right? <laughs> right, right. Bro, by the time we got to year four or five, he was the, uh, yeah, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Right. You hear me? And right. that was the energy. He got that from all the old heads who was right there. GP, Sean right. K, all the, those are all old heads, Charles Barkley, telling us how to, how to come into it. So by year five, bro, we, we damn near, we, we're it. Right. Coach the feature, and I won it. The, the dunk contest, niggas was talking shit on the low. You can see the game is shipping, which I was talking about when niggas was cool. And it was, but, bro, this is all part of learning how to not only be an all-star, but what goes on in all Guess what the old head also telling you? Hey, bro, when y'all go out tonight, y'all got crews? Okay, look, when y'all go out, the chicks out here, they woo-woo-woo-woo-woo. Don't, right. don't go for the woo-woo-woo, because some of these niggas, they square. They don't come from no, you feel me? Right. So the old head telling you how to get in and don't get out the party. The overlay for the underlay. The overlay for the underlay. <laughs> and don't get the woo-woo-woo and the yah yah yah. All that knowledge in there, you in here like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, okay, for okay, sure that. Okay. You know what, how to move. You know what restaurants, you know how to get the reservation over here to that, do. That connect ain't there. Boy, it, it, it's a whole disconnect. How much yeah. of that is on the young guys seeking it out? And see, that's what I think the real disconnect is because they've never really been incentivized to go as hard as they went in the All-Star game. Right. They were different players. And when you start mentioning all these errors, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, Magic like Bird, Bird didn't fuck with Larry. I'm about to whoop this nigga ass. He not beat me tonight. We're going to take it easy these first couple quarters. Second half, we're going home with a W. That's what niggas did. 90s. That's what niggas did. They went to the All Star game. They all we seen. I, I, I watch the All Star game every year. They didn't go hard to the second half, 
But the point was, they definitely was going to compete at some point. They was going to play defense at some point. Right. I feel like <clears throat> I don't want to blame it all on the LeBrons and the Mellows and the D-Wades. But after Kobe leaves, it's y'all league. And what are y'all telling these young boys? And I think Kobe was the last person we seen who wasn't going to call up the ops and join the team. I think that's when you start dismantling. Yeah, yeah. I, hold on, hold on. Let me finish, please. I'm going to say that. That's right. when you start dismantling competitive nature. That's take that, that one move LeBron did really stripped the competitive nature from the league. If you think about it, I'm going to go join my friends and play with my friends. All right, you do that, you get some championships. Tim Duncan, Tim Parker, they still there. They're still making all-star teams. Still kind of competitive. Now these niggas is getting out of here. Kobe is getting out of here. And by the time he's gone... The disconnect has already happened. Not only did LeBron do that, then we seen the next generation of Kevin Durant trying to play with his friends. John Wall trying to go. Like, niggas try to. James Harden. These niggas go play with their friends. They don't have a sense of competitive nature in their bones at all. I won't say LeBron don't have that, but I will say he don't know what he indirectly affected by doing that. When you got that competitive nature and you really don't like a nigga, when it's all star game time, the last time I seen an all-star game with two cats had beef, LeBron and Kyrie was the two cats that had the beef. That was the last time I seen it, and they competed. It wasn't no high-scoring game. I think it was like 124 to 125 or some shit, and that was it. And ever since then, they squashed their beef. But I'm talking about that shit fuels competitive nature that, that bleeds over into all-star weekend where somebody coming in there saying, they not beating me. I'm playing somebody. Oh shit, he playing. Uh, uh, D Wade said, "I woke up one All Star game when 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 uh, Kobe broke my finger. Like he broke my finger. He was playing <laughs> real deep. I'm not. I didn't come here to like. I'm, I'm getting paid regardless. I came to play ball, and I feel like when the ball roll out for these young, this generation, it's like the buck got missed. I see it all the time at the wreck. This ain't an AAU game. I ain't trying to injure myself. I ain't going hard and wreck. Bro, we was kids. We used to go hard at the wreck. Yeah, yeah. We got injured at the wreck. They not doing that. They not doing that. I don't know if it's our fault. The same way with the NBA. I don't know if it's Brian's fault. But they just not playing hard. And I don't think, I don't know how you would incentivize them to play hard. I got a couple ideas. Go ahead. Uh, one, we need to bring it back to East versus West, because I, I feel it is you, East versus West. But go ahead. I thought they were picking the last couple of years. Nope. This year no, they this year was East versus West. They switched back. West. Okay. Yeah. So we need to keep that in play, and I do believe the winner of the All Stars game should uh, do the ultimate task of representing Team USA. I feel like that would definitely make it a little bit more well, competitive. There are foreigners on the team. I might too, not though. play no more. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> I don't want to play this summer, bro. Yeah. You got a point there. I say, but put the G of- League All Stars against them niggas, and if you lose to the G League, your reputation fucked. Now, see that I do like that idea. Yeah. That's also I a good like one too. That idea because they don't play. Yeah, yeah. 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 Them G League niggas don't play. Now I'm watching. And you got to give starting five a contract. So that's going to incentivize G yeah. League. Then. Yeah. Because technically a, they are under license of the NBA. So, yeah, yeah it could work. But is it an all-star game anymore? Because we need 12 on 12. So, yeah. so is it an all-star I believe, game? But I believe, like you saying, with in, uh, inserting the G League, that will put more eyes on the G League. Just like you say, you don't watch G League games. But if we got all-stars in the G League, then you're going to be looking for these people. I was going to say. Just for of- this particular day. Instead of just grabbing these talk show people, because I, I get it, Stephen A and Shannon Shay Shay, whatever. Why not have LeBron pick his starting G League All Star, and then pick somebody from? No, I'd rather the coaches pick it. No, LeBron is the coach. No, what I'm saying, I'd rather the coaches pick who the All Stars will be from the G League. I'm pretty sure LeBron don't even know who playing them teams. I mean, no, he would know. Like he would have help. But what I'm saying, like representative, like like rep- he's the uh, coach. Yeah, like he mm. like they did this the is celebrity LeBron's game. Team. Yeah. Mm. Nah, that's taken away from it. I uh, see. I see what y'all trying. I, basically, what they saying is you'll get the 12 best G League players, the 12 best players in the NBA, and make them play each other. I think that would be a blowout, but I think you would see them play for that blowout instead of just blowing. Because the G League niggas not going to go out down without a fight. Right. Yeah, I'm not saying they're going to score. Fourth quarter going to come, and y'all might be down three. They gonna, you're going to see and some fouls. Start hooping. It's going to be a game game. They, I mean, it, they, it could be a game game. I don't know. But, I mean, I mean, those are good ideas. I like that idea because that would give them more incentive to sign you. 
You gonna get signed. I don't care nothing about the G League niggas. I'm trying to get the NBA niggas to play a game. All right, man.